long. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to introduce myself, but uh, from the screen, you can read who I am. And uh, somebody is interested in matters to do with uh, ICT and uh, modern way of learning and uh, how we can uh, integrate, how we can uh, use technology to supplement the process of teaching and learning. Since we are handling a 21st century learner who is exposed to technology and who is much enthusiastic to technological matters. Uh, this is something that I've done for a little bit uh, uh, time and uh, I can say self-learning really works and uh, but it takes much of the time. So because of taking much of this time, I believe that uh, sharing leads to learning. In the matter of self-learning, you must see a challenge. You must uh, challenge yourself first. Then uh, you come in to research and see how you can uh, address that gap you have seen in yourself. So to save on time, uh, this calls for a need to embrace digital literacy and mentorship program. Uh, get engaged in a program that will enable you to develop digital skills in a number of aspects that uh, I am to share, going to share with you. So in this case, uh, it's not a, or about the just you have. Somebody here is saying that it doesn't matter how many resources you have. If you don't know how to use uh, them, it will never be enough. Uh, quite a number of us as teachers, we have laptops, we have smartphones, and uh, to some extent, we can uh, access a few kind of network uh, connectivity. And there are things you can do minus even network connectivity since you have the two. But we have reduced the use of these gadgets mainly to watch movies and uh, maybe for social platforms, for our smartphones, to be in the WhatsApp groups and other things. But uh, we can use these resources to some extent. So, nobody should claim that uh, I don't have the necessary resources to make myself useful to matters of digital and the technology. Uh, so, develop skills to use their variable digital gadgets prudently, where you have to develop the skills for you to use so, identify the necessary applications, learn how to use them as we manipulate them for a better outcome. We, as a, as, a, as a mentor, what I will lead you into is identification of the applications, knowing how you can integrate them and use them properly. Like now I have integrated a number of softwares here so that I can come up with this uh, kind of video. But I am using simply two gadgets here, a smartphone and a computer. And then from there, learning how to manipulate, that is very key, and that's what is uh, required. Uh, what are we going to do in this case? We are going to apply the skills we use. We let me get back. Areas to apply the skills we learn and develop. So where are we going to apply these skills? We develop skills to apply in teaching and learning. Instead of just moving around with the, how can you use this one to demonstrate the learning of a certain idea? How can we use the 
to identify and nurture the talents of the learners how can you use this one to exhibit to show somebody but that there is talent in my institution and that needs to be nurtured how can we take the talent we can uh, take our talent to the world how can we expose our learner and uh, we can also use uh, these uh, digital skills as a uh, collaborative tools with the stakeholders let the community know what you are doing let the parents know let the alumni of a certain institution know let the students also be interested in learning that is how can we use these tools to do collaboration so there are a number of applications that we can bring in learn them and use them as tools to co do collaborative activities uh, we can also use the same skills in inter-school virtual activities it's not every time that we are going to have the innings the outings uh, the physical ones yes they are there but the same idea can be uh, can, can, can be integrated and uh, we can identify areas that we can use we can have virtual activities and these skills will be okay for example we can have conduct debates we can conduct symposia we can conduct contests based them on virtually some of them and this one will enable as many participants as possible so exposing as many participants as possible I am ready to be your coach and a mentor as we engage each other in this activity. So just uh, give me a call and I will mentor you. I will uh, show you the right gadgets, the, 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 the right uh, applications, just a view of them, not a lot. Then we engage each other in the aspects that uh, we have mentioned and uh, at what level are we going to engage each other we can engage at a, at, a, at a personal level i want to learn a few skills i want to develop these skills you can consult can consult each other at school level and uh, we have dilac online tv that uh, i came up with after knowing that there is a way we can collaborate, a way we can learn these ideas and uh, then we move on. Uh, the activities that we engage ourselves in as we do our, as we mentor ourselves, as we develop these skills, as we familiarize ourselves with a number of uh, digital applications, so one is knowing the must-have softwares that uh, are needed for you to collaborate effectively. Installing the softwares, customizing the applications. And the customizing, I mean, because uh, not everybody will develop the skills, the, 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 the hands-on skills of uh, manipulating this software. So together, we will... Uh, just reduce that software we customize it to buttons that if i click button one uh, it is going to perform this activity if I, I click button zero on my keyboard it is going to perform a certain activity so we change our computer to be kind of uh, robotic customized to the buttons and the shortcuts of doing so I will teach you now how to master the shortcuts and I manipulate the software, the application for you. I customize it. What we want to see is the outcome of uh, what is expected. It's not rocket science, but uh, what we want to see is the outcome. Not the really... Then from there we'll do, uh, we'll come up with uh, a sample of digital content. So it is learning there and then. Not something like this tomorrow. Once we do the mentorship, we do the learning, we install the software, we customize, immediately you are able to come with your first item 
ever is a uh, digital content uh, we also engage each other on Dilak online tv simply you subscribe to the channel and you get notified when uh, a new video is premiered when uh, we upload a new video that is addressing uh, the manipulation or uh, tracing how to use a certain software or how to create a certain content of interest to use with our learners you get notified and then you share with others you can comment and then we move on also we let's embrace learn and apply technology in uh, your teaching and uh, learning experience uh, my goal is uh, only one be that teacher you didn't experience when you were in high school when you were in primary school at this time you there are, there are certain reflections you do if i was to have a teacher who is doing one two three who understood me to this level i was to do better to some extent so be that teacher teacher with uh, you you didn't experience be up to date technologically you are handling a 24 21st century learner who has different needs so once you address the technological needs that is the 21st century teacher who understands the needs of the 21st century learner so the 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 the, the, the wonderful thing that you can do and a favor you can do unto yourself is to understand the needs of this 21st century learner and uh, finally uh thank you remember to subscribe to dilac online tv on youtube like our content comment and then you share uh, that's all i look forward for much and better engagement i said we can engage each other at personal level as a for somebody is interested at school level and uh, you can be searching and uh, acquitting yourself with uh, the information that we are going to upload periodically in our digital and uh, our DLAC online TV. It is our TV, it is our platform to learn as teachers and to engage each other. So it is an affair for the teachers and they may we learn and they get interested in matters of ICT. Bye, uh, be blessed and stay blessed.